I'm going to choose yellow for my next color here. And if I can find where this begins, maybe we will get started here. Okay, so I'm going to make another slip stitch. I'm sorry, I'm going to make another slip knot. Pardon me. So get a slip knot on there. I make it a little looser. Actually, we're not going to put the slip knot on there yet. What we're going to do is what I generally like to do is start in the same corner, but really we're going to be on this side and work our way around. So I'm going to put my hook into this corner. I am going to put my hook, the loop on the hook, and then I am going to make a chain. I'm going to make two chains, so around there, one, two, and you'll notice you're going to have some tails hanging, it's going to be awkward, and that's okay. Remember, I do not like to use my chains as a stitch, and I am going to make one granny stitch in this corner here. So one, two, and three. Okay, this looks weird, but we are doing it. I, If you all no also notice, I did stitch over this tail. So what just happened is <clears throat> I crocheted a granny square and it is on this side. Okay, now because we are already at a corner, I'm going to chain three. Okay, and because we are in a corner, I am also going to crochet again into the same corner space. Okay. So that was one, two, and three. So now that is what it looks like. This is also how we increase our stitches. We started with four granny stitches. We are going to end our row with eight granny stitches. All right, so here is where we need to orient ourselves. So we just finished a corner and we don't need to make a new corner because we're still on this side and what we're going to do is after we finish this granny stitch, we are just going to move on over and make another granny stitch into this next corner space. Okay, so it's going to look a little something like this. There's no chaining to be done. We are just going to go for it. So we are going to go like this. All right. Remember I said the first two rows are going to be the most difficult and after that it will be a little bit easier to know what's happening. Okay, so let's orient ourselves a little bit. We're going to have a lot of yarn hanging around because there's going to be tails, but I'm going to try to make this as clean as possible. Alright, so here we just finished this side. So we... We started halfway through this side. We did a corner and then we did two on this side. There's no chain in the middle, but you do see a space here. That's what we want it to look like. So now we need to do another corner and another, another granny stitch into this same corner space. So I am going to chain three. Oops. And then I'm going to do three double crochets to make another granny stitch. Okay, now we are on we are on this side now, and we're not at a corner, so we are not going to chain. We are going to just yarn over and go into that next space to make our next granny stitch. So one two, three. Okay, so let's look again so we're a little oriented. 
we just finish this side, we have two corners and two sides finished. I We have like two and a half sides finished, but now we need to make another corner and another granny stitch into the same space. So one, two, three, and then we are going to one more granny stitch here okay remember now we're not doing a corner we are on a side so we're not going to do a chain here we are just going to go for it into that next space So now we've finished this third side and we have three corners so we need one more corner and um, we need to finish this fourth side. So one, two, three chains and we're going to do that granny stitch in the same exact space here. Okay, so here we are again. We are at the end of row two, or round two, however you want to say it. I want you guys to notice that we started with four granny stitches, and we added four. And also note that in every row that you are in, whatever row it is, is how many granny stitches you have. So this row, we had one granny stitch, in, in each side, I'm sorry, in each side there will be um, however many stitches you have is however many is on a side. So one granny stitch, two granny stitches, okay? All right, so now we need to slip stitch here and we remember how we found where to slip stitch. We're just gonna do a slip stitch here and we are gonna tie this off. So I do one chain I kind of tighten it down. I take my scissor and I cut it and just pull that through. This looks so cute. Okay.